welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the multiple choice question and answer from the subject antenna and microwave engineering so in this video we are going to see some 30 questions uh, uh, from the antenna and microwave basics okay so we will see one by one uh, the first question das is a region of electromagnetic spectrum having the frequency ranging from 1 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz so it's a microwave uv ir none of the above so the answer is the microwave okay so the microwave it's a electron as a region of electromagnetic spectrum having the frequency range in the range of gigahertz 1 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz okay the next question which of the following band that comes under the microwave band so already you know uh, in EM uh, electromagnetic spectrum, there are so many bands are available. So these bands, C band, D band, E, all of the above. So these bands are available, uh, comes under the microwave band. So all of the above is the correct one. C, D and E band. It comes under the microwave frequency. Uh, then the next question, which of the following is the main advantage of microwave? One is highly directive, moves at a speed of light, greater S, S by N, that is S by N means signal to noise ratio, greater signal to noise ratio, high penetration power. So which one is an advantage of this microwave engineering means it's a highly directive. Okay, uh, then the next question, at uh, microwave frequencies, the size of the antenna becomes very small, large, small, very small. So already you know the microwave frequencies is in the range of gigahertz. So you know the relation between the size of the antenna and uh, the operating frequency. The size of the antenna is inversely proportional to the operating frequency. So the frequency is very high. Gigahertz means the size of the antenna becomes very small. Okay. So for lower frequency operation, we have to use the size of the antenna. It will be very big. But for microwave frequency, the size of the antenna, it becomes very small. Then the next one, the transmission line is a dash parameter network. It's a lumped parameter, distributed parameter, active, none of the mentioned. So transmission line, you know, transmission line is said to be the distributed parameter network. Okay. Uh, then the next one, for a transverse electromagnetic wave propagation, we need a minimum of one conductor, two conductors, three conductor, bunch of conductor. So in order to uh, that is uh, uh, travel the electromagnetic wave, that is in order to do the electromagnetic wave propagation, we need at least a minimum of two conductors. Okay. Then the next one, which among the following uh, is used for the generation of electromagnetic waves? One is Ampere's law. Faraday's law, uh, Gaussian's law, and uh, Kirchhoff's law. Uh, the A, B, C, A, and B, B, C, A, C, B, and D. So for generation of electromagnetic waves, we are using the Ampere's law and Faraday's law. So A and B is the answer. Okay. Then the next one, in radio communication link, what is the shape or nature of waves generated by the transmitting antenna? So what is the shape of the wave or what is the nature of wave generated by the transmitting antenna? It's a spherical. Okay, it's a plane wave or a spherical triangular square means it's a spherical. Then the next one, the antennas convert uh, photons to electrons, electrons to photons, both A and B, none. So the antenna, it converts uh, photons to electron as well as electrons to photon. So the answer is C, both A and B is the answer. Okay, since uh, antenna can be used as a transmitting antenna and receiving antenna. So it converts uh, photon to electron as well as the electron to photons. Then the next one, antennas are of dash type. Okay, how many types of antenna is available? Two type, four, infinite none okay infinite so there are infinite number of antenna uh, types are available then the next one which of the following is true okay one is time changing current radiates 
accelerated charges radiates both a and b none okay so the answer is both a and b that is the time changing current it is also radiate accelerated charges also radiate okay so both a and b is a true this two thing is a true only then dash theorem can be applied to both the circuit and field theories so for circuit theory and electromagnetic field theory which theorem can be applied one is equality of pattern equality of impedance equality of effective length reciprocity theorem so the reciprocity theorem is the answer the so reciprocity theorem can be applied to both circuit theory as well as the field theory okay so the remaining three thing equality of pattern equality of impedance equality of uh, effective length this is for the properties of antennas the next one the basic uh, requirements of transmitting antennas are so you know transmitting antenna transmitting antenna means this antenna it uh, radiates uh, it receives signal from the transmitter and it radiates to the free space okay uh, that is a transmitting antenna so what are all the basic requirement of transmitting antenna high efficiency low side loops large signal to noise ratio none of the mention so the basic requirement of transmitting antenna is high gain and efficiency the efficiency high gain and efficiency is a uh, the basic requirement of the transmitting antenna so this high efficiency is a correct answer then the remaining two large signal to noise ratio low side loop these are all the uh, requirement for the receiving antenna okay these are all the basic requirement for receiving antenna so the basic requirement of transmitting antenna is gain and efficiency so the efficiency high efficiency is the answer uh, the next question dash is a device that converts electron to photons or vice versa that is photon to electron so the device is one is antenna electron gun photon amplifier microwave tube so antenna is a, uh, it converts antenna it converts a, uh electrons to photon and photon to electron okay so that is the transmitting antenna it converts electron to photons and in receiving antenna it converts photon to electron so this antenna i do the uh, this process and the next one antennas are bidirectional devices so it's a true or false so the antennas are bidirectional device it's a true only uh, that is the antennas uh, can be used Uh, for both transmitter as well as receivers okay so you know that antennas can be used for the transmitting purpose as well as the receiving purpose okay so as a transmitter uh, the antenna the transmitting antenna it radiates energy to free space okay in a receiver section the receiving antenna it receives the signal from free space and it give it to the receiver section so the antennas are bidirectional devices then the next one according to the webster's dictionary what is an antenna okay so one is the first one is impedance matching device impedance matching antenna is a impedance matching device yes then sensor of electromagnetic wave this antenna it is working as a sensor in order to uh, uh, for the it senses the electromagnetic em waves then it's a transducer between the guided wave and free space yes metallic device for radiating or receiving radio waves so all these are the definition of antenna but here the question is that according to webster's dictionary what is an antenna so the antenna is a metallic device for radiating or receiving radio waves okay so this is as per uh, this one the antenna definition is this but all these four thing is the definition of antenna only then the next question a dash is a device that converts guided electromagnetic wave on a transmission line into a plane wave propagating in free space okay so which device the transmitting antenna receiving antenna radar mixer dash is a device that converts the guided electromagnetic wave on a transmission line into plane wave propagating in a free space okay 
that is a transmitting antenna so transmitting antenna it receives the signal from the transmission line and it converts into uh, em waves and that waves are propagating via the free space so the transmitting antenna is the answer okay so it's a transmitting antenna it's a device that converts the guided electromagnetic wave uh, on a transmission line into plane wave propagating in a free space uh, then the next question what is the functioning uh, role of an antenna in receiving mode okay if you are using the antenna in receiving mode what is the uh, how the antenna it will work okay so it's a radiator it's a converter sensor inverter sensor okay in receiving mode the antenna the function the role of the antenna is a sensor okay so already you know uh, the various definitions of antenna it's a impedance matching device between the transmission line and free space okay it senses the electromagnetic wave okay so this is the definition so using this one uh, this is the thing in a receiving mode the basic functioning role of antenna is a sensor next one uh, which property or properties of antenna are likely to be evidenced in accordance with the reciprocity theorem okay uh, one is equality of impedances equality of directional pattern equality of effective length all of the above so all these properties equality of impedance equality of directional pattern equality of effective length so all of the above is the properties of antenna according to the reciprocity theorem then the next one uh, self impedance of an antenna is basically dash okay so what is self impedance uh, the first choice you see it's it's a input impedance during the removal of all other antennas second one uh, it's a impedance by taking into consideration the consequence of other antennas both a and b none of the above okay the first one is the correct thing self impedance is nothing bad by removing all other antenna if you are measuring the input impedance of that particular antenna that is the self impedance okay so it is a input impedance during the removal of all other antennas then the next question an antenna source that radiates energy uniformly in all direction okay so which antenna it radiates energy uniformly in all direction is called isotropic source an isotropic source point source none of the mentioned isotropic source okay so you know the isotropic uh, radiator means it radiates energy uniformly in all direction okay so isotropic source is the answer then the next one what is the nature of uh, radiation pattern of isotropic antenna so it's a spherical uh, donut then elliptical hyperbolic spherical is the correct answer so the radiation the shape of the radiation pattern of isotropic antenna it's a spherical the next one the antennas that radiate energy only in a specified direction are called an isotropic antenna it's a true or false true okay so based on the uh, that is the radiation uh, happened in which direction the antennas are classified into basically two types one is isotropic antennas another one is an isotropic antenna so isotropic antenna means uh, so you know it radiates uh, energy in uh, equally in all direction uh, if we, if the antenna radiates energy only in a specified direction that antennas are called as an isotropic antennas okay uh, then the next one antennas having the constant pattern in azimuthal plane are called high gain antenna omnidirectional antenna unidirectional antenna low gain antenna so the antenna having constant pattern in azimuthal plane are called as omnidirectional antenna okay uh, next question dash of an antenna is defined as the ratio of induced voltage to the incident uh, uh, electric field so the dash of an antenna is defined as the ratio of induced voltage to the incident electric field it is called as effective height gain directivity loss gain effective height the effective height of the antenna it is also a one of the antenna parameter okay similar to input impedance uh, uh, 
then uh, radiation pattern and uh, bandwidth gain directivity beam width similar to that the effective height is also a yeah, one of the parameter of antenna the effective height is nothing but it's a ratio of induced voltage to the incident electric field the next question radiation pattern is dash dimensional quantity so radiation pattern it's a two dimensional quantity three dimensional single dimensional none of the above three dimensional radiation pattern it's a graphical representation of a, a graphical representation in order to describe the uh, that is a, how the antenna radiates uh, in which direction in order to indicate that one we are using the radiation pattern the radiation pattern is nothing but a three dimensional quantity uh, next one which pattern is generated due to plotting of square of amplitude of electric field so you know in uh, in the radiation pattern there are different types of radiation pattern is that one is field pattern voltage pattern power pattern so in this which pattern is generated due to the plotting of square of the amplitude of electric field if you are taking uh, for electric field for take if you are taking square of the amplitude of electric field which pattern is generated means it's a power pattern so the power pattern is nothing but it's a square of the amplitude of the electric field versus uh, that uh, theta pi and r if you are drawing that is called as a power pattern the number of pattern uh, number of uh, radiation pattern required to specify the characteristics uh, or the three thing okay so what are all the three patterns how many pattern number of uh, patterns required to specify the characteristics or three one is uh, the first one the theta component of electric field as a function of angle theta and pi okay the second one is the pi component of electric field first one is theta component of electric field as a function of theta and pi the next one is the pi component of electric field as a function of angle theta and pi the third one is the phase of the uh, field as a function of theta comma pi so these three uh, patterns combinedly we are calling it as a radiation pattern the next one dash of an antenna is a plot of magnitude of far field strength versus the position around the antenna it's a radiation pattern so the radiation pattern of the antenna is a plot of magnitude of far field strength versus the position around the antenna okay position around the antenna it's a plot it gives the detail regarding the region where the most of the energy of the antenna is radiated okay so it is indicated by the radiation pattern then the next one the power density is basically termed as dash power per unit area the power density the power density it is nothing but the reflected power per unit area or refracted power per unit area radiated power per unit area diffracted power per unit area radiated power per unit area it is called as a power density okay so this is the uh, definitions about this so these are all the some of the uh, basic questions about the antenna and microwave so in the next video so we will see the next uh, remaining questions so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos and keep watching thank you